can feel it. This is the run. Two in a row, maybe. I have a Stygian Hellhorned with an offering token. So that doesn't do anything right now. Um, but at least it cantrips, kind of, if you don't want to play everything. It's good for passing on a steward, maybe. I like the two Molting Imps early. I think these are really strong for early clears. Especially if you you know get lucky on the enemies on every floor and you just... I'm going to is nice. We have... Seraph of the Cleanse. So cleanse rage and cleanse frost Ooh. and cleanse um, spell weakness. You just have to you just have to go harder. Go hard, chat. This is a tough choice. I I've got a lot of um like pyre wall seemed really unnecessary in the early covenants. But I think it's I I got a lot more respect for it now because it's so sim so easy and like the f you can take that and you know not take ten fifteen damage you know every fight and that's you know sixty ninety damage in the first six rounds you know which which is kind of playing offensively because it allows you to take uh, a be a little bit more proactive at the at taking the uh, challenges the trials for bonuses yeah don't plan for failure true but it means you can take trials that maybe you would have to pass on because you don't want to take 10 damage here or you don't want to take another 10 and another 10 so it's got a weird sense where it's it's defense that lets you be offensive And the extra spell slots, I think I was always too eager to take in the past. I think the extra unit slot is worth a lot more. Uh, just on how, like, a lot of the spells you don't need to, to get three things on them. Yeah, unless you're going ham on spells. And even then, you can't put three on all those spells, right? Whereas things like... Um, like our frozen lances, we just want to get rid of. Uh, same as the torches, you get rid of them. The offerings, we don't put anything on them. Um, yeah, if you if you got one one card super OP and then duped it, like you get two minus one costs and a spell power on like a titan's tooth. You know, so you got a one a one energy. 15 AoE with 10 Frost Titans Tooth and then you dupe it. But I think I'd, always, I'd already want that card um, in my starting five. Damage spells cost less, which is nice, but <laughs> the two extra health is nice as well. So this guy can't take... We can't... With this guy, we can't really take spike challenges any, either way or he just dies. Um, but Frostbite's better for boss killing. And we'll just put some Stuarts in front of him. So straight up, first challenge is spikes. And it's only 75 gold. But we've got the 15 damage and we have a ton of spells. And Molting Imp. And I'm still at the, t the stage of learning in the game. I want to see what, what I can take. Get him endless, yeah. So Frostbite's much better on the... Um, like, we're gonna draw a spell. So I don't have to worry about not getting the Collector. Um, Frostbite's much better down a floor, isn't it? So we get another lot of it. 
，就係、是。I think we can put him on the top floor though and still win. I just don't want to risk someone getting through and him dying. We need him to do all the damage. I'm not dying. Silence enemy units as well. That's strong. So worst thing is we could offer into imp, and it's probably not even that bad. All right, let's... Stuart only tanks one hit. That's so dumb. So bad, Stuart. <laughs> Should have played that on the on the previous one, but I didn't realize. Zero damage taken. <clears throat> so we're talking about making that three spell Titan's Tooth. Which we can't take. I think because of the Molting Imps, we go ahead and take Flash Freeze here. Just because we can play it with other spells. I really, I mean, Titan, I love Titan's Tooth, and uh, we've got an offering. Oh. We've got two offerings. Probs had a cool imp deck earlier. His first relic was Impsicle. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I could have um, endless the transcend imp yesterday, and I, I goofed and. Um, Put it on a different, different one, and then I'm, and then someone pointed out in chat and like, why not this one? I'm like, ah, oh, that would just would have been better. Return a random consumed spell to your hand. No, no, no. All right, we have available large stone. And Hearthstone. Oh, come on, give me, give me someone good, please. We just get her to tank. Is that the play? Do you think? You know, it's funny. Sweep with three Frostbite as a tank is almost the same as Revenge. Okay, it's only, the difference is only 20 health, right? But what, what do we gain by that? She hits into spikes, he doesn't. But she kills AO, she kills backliners, but we, we're going to do that anyway. And if they have multi-hitters, they get like heaps of extra frostbite. Yeah. But it's large stone all the way. And a, and a hearthstone. <laughs> she does kill nasty little backliners as well.
except he kills himself, so this one should be fine. I think we're fine on this. Units on each floor is, isn't what bothers me, it's, it's spikes I'm more scared of, but as long as we get shark, there we go, it's fine. <clears throat> Man, an imp pick, an imp draw would have been the best here. <laughs> they all die, I love it. Oh, that's true. I could have set up a little bit lower with the armor. What would that damage would they have done, though? They would have done three each. They would have done 12. Yeah, I could have. And then I'll think about that in the next few fights. Thanks. Yeah, that's the whole reason I took that, was so I could take these. So I would have taken... I would have been able to kill one. What was there, three on the top? So I would have killed one, and then I would have taken six. And then we could have just ignored these and taken another four. And so we still would have had five armor left over. comes down to if I want that health or not. I think I do want the health. Mm, I want to kill that. I don't want that in my hand. No, let's not. Let's, I don't want that in my, in my hand. Other way around might have been better. Die. Grief was fine. I think he's getting through, but that's okay because we have armor. Rage does tick down, but they still would have. Uh, the ones on the second floor still do one. I still think they have one rage when they get up there. They start with three, they have two, they have one. Maybe. Maybe. Or they do, they do their natural one damage each. So we wouldn't have actually lost any health. We just would have chipped into armor. Yeah. Yeah, two to one to zero. So they still have one one attack. But it's like that nothing when you've got 15 armor. Oh, we can just silent them? Oh, how good was that? The clutch plays... Can't silence spikes though. Yeah, it's probably not it for the boss rush. Um, but it could be worth it um, depending on your setup so that future turns, like when, like, he's got 18 frost. So if we'd set up these guys on the bottom or even here, just getting a few more turns for it ticking. Oh, 
Oh, you're dead to spikes. That sucks. Are there any other spiky bosses? Wow, second Titan's Tooths versus Flash Freeze. <clears throat> I'm kind of digging the Titan's Tooths. Get get a like a retain on them. The big armor bird. Uh, sure. Flash Freeze is strong as well. And you can just play it. Well, you know what? I've got two offerings. The game gave me two offerings. Let's skip here. Horn break's nice sometimes. Do we need more units? We can have a look at units instead of taking health. And then we get spells. I like that. Look at the store first. Permafrost is huge. Hmm. Demon friend. Yeah, Hornbreak with 10 power can be nice sometimes. Go ahead and take one of these idiots and put him behind a steward. I get punished a lot for not taking something like that. Oh, where's my, um... No Awoken consumable for that sweet, sweet regen? I wish there was an option for consumer, consumable card, so it didn't include other ones. The Hellhorn one, I always get Rage. Hello, the Ancients would be nice though. Sticking could be okay. We're not going to get Gift. It'd be something like Urchin Spines, which is alright. Or Prismal Dust. Oh, it's Melting Remnant. What's a Remnant one? I don't want one of those. I'd take Seeds, yeah. Give it no consumer to plus one, yeah. Are we good to go again? I've never had three. Give it a plus one non-consume, a minus one cost, and double stack and copy, yeah. I'd probably prefer holdover if I could get that instead of double stack. I think Permafrost on the Titan's Tooth is slightly better because then you can just play it some turns when you don't want to but we're almost always going to want to play it straight away however holding onto it means if we don't play it because we don't have an offering we wait for the offering so if we draw this first before the offerings we can sit and wait on it 
or play it if we've got units down already. It probably works out to be exactly the same. Offering means we could take something else with offering. If we put an offering token, we could put it, play something else that has it. the other one costs less? I don't think I do. I think we re-roll on this. Come here. Does that make sense? So we don't have to play it just to redraw. No, we hold the other one. <clears throat> Remember why we, we always play one? I need to get hold over on the Titan's Tooth as well. And then you just play it every turn. Basically, there's no cost playing. It costs you a card draw. But it's a good card to draw, right? So it's a... Especially if you're going to keep playing it. Alright, idiot. Oh, this is nice because we can set up on the bottom here. What if we want to silence these ones? Is there going to be worse? There could be something worse. Them. that turned off. It is turned off. Wow, and he's dying because of that now. I could put stuff on the boss, but I think we need to kill those guys. That was weird. Mm. Well, I've seen both Titans too, so I can't do that. Um. Rage doing anything for us. Not in this fight, I don't think we need it. 
could draw into something, offer into something else though. Oh, I'm gonna need to offer into something else. That's fine. Seem a little uh, cold there. But... <clears throat> Deep offering. No. <laughs> no. Well, the ancient looks good though. Get some armor on our Sharky boy. Ooh. get a second tank for like the second floor seems okay or do we just I prefer to just dupe the shark boy right let's have a look at um let's have a look here what's coming up we have a hell vent right there so we could dupe shark boy it's gold though The next one's not until there. Eh, that's not too bad. You like Icy Sun? I'm not a big fan, hey. The spell weakness is okay, I guess, but I don't think it's ever doing anything. And I don't think we're ever going to get an incant off her. But I think... You never know. Put her on the second floor behind Shark Boy. Um, do we want draw then? I think we want draw. I love it when you when energy is not an issue and um, capacity is okay. Like draw is just sweep spell weakness is kind of okay, but we're not really doing a lot of our damage through spells. We're doing it's through the frost, which you know is applied through spells. Oh, we didn't. <clears throat> we got two in again. I was kind of hoping to get the sweep on him. Three. He's just going to die to um, units that have... Huh, do I hit another offering? No. Um, let's get another main tank. That lets us draw into a tank soon and put one on the second floor. I mean, it could, it could come into play. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. So the issue is if we can get enough frost on them. And there's haste as well. Feels bad. We only stack 20 frost to hit, so there's a good chance we don't get enough frost. And... Okay, but if we do hit them for 20 frost, <clears throat> they die and they get two hits in. I don't think it's worth it for a relic, eh? Hey? Yeah, you could quite easily lose a lot of pie health. I mean, we are full health and we have 15 armor. So there is reason to, um, to maybe go for it. And we have a lot of spells, so we can quite often take the haste up. But that doesn't necessarily help us. They're going to have extra frost because they're going to hit the sharks. Let's, let's see what happens. Roll the bones and be dumb for science, and I've just got to try and actually learn from it. 
Okay, so these guys are fine because their armor doesn't come back. However, however, oh, she's gonna die because she's gonna hit our shark. That's that's great. Um, they also they have no health, uh, no damage, so we don't care. Sometimes lucky, right? How's that for an opening setup? Stuart's like, I'm helping. We're like, no, you're not, Stuart. He's like, no, I'm not. <clears throat> okay, so the spell weakness here... Look at this. Spell weakness might do a thing. Because the one hit of spell weakness here might kill off that guy. A oh, horned warrior is doing a thing as well. Oh my god. What's, hap what's happening? Has the world gone crazy? Do we want to drop the imp? I think I want to drop the imp just to remove it, right? I play it at the front to kill it off. Now I can do one damage. Oh, this is good. Oh, it's the 30 damage chunk that he hits. Okay, hang on. Hang on. So I think that kills everyone here. That does an extra 25, so he dies, right? We wait for the spell damage on that one. Okay, let's go. This. Oh. <laughs> oh. Pan's maths. Is he really going to be on 79? 46. 20 frostbite. And another three frostbite. We can crystalline him, but I was really hoping to crystalline this guy. But if I don't kill this one, I'm not killing him there, so we have to play that. And if that guy gets through, he's only getting <clears throat> a one hit off. Right? So we can block that with Pyre. This kind of poops though. Maybe I needed to kill that guy instead. Try and kill that guy instead? What would we have gotten? We would have hit 30. Yeah, maybe it was better to hit that guy. Because he's definitely getting through to do damage. Well, he's not definitely getting through, but he's probably getting through, right?
Uh, boss is coming through next. Kill him. We kill him! Woo! That's a nuts turn, too. I have to play the turn out. It's only fitting, right? That frost ramp up. Friendly units enter with five armor. Oh, <laughs> more than doubles the the um, the life so, lifespan of our of our champion. Oh, hello. How you doing? So we don't need health. I don't really need to do that. I kind of want to do that. But let's see where, can we, where else we can Merchant of Steel. We do have a Merchant of Steel there, but I don't, we'd probably take magic. And we'll probably get... Oh, where's the next Merchant of Steel? Near Helven. Because I'd like to get some health on our, um, on our new totem. But that's completely wasted. That's okay. This could be... Train steward units gain. No, they don't. <clears throat> spell weakness to enemy units when they hit the platform. When you play a spell, spells in hand that cost less are reduced to zero for the turn. I like Anvil, and it does mean we can. If we don't have offering, we can play Titan's Tooth. And other spells. Here's the thing. Let's have a look at the other spells we can play with Anvil. Alloys, good. Frozen Lances. Torches. <clears throat> I mean, Anvil is super strong, right? But is this a case of we don't... Because it's other spells, not other cards, yeah? Yeah. So it's not like we can play units with it. wonder if Anvil works with Titan's Tooth discard. I mean, that's... Oh, it does? Interesting. But here's the thing. Do we need to play have other spells discounted? I mean, we could disc out one, one of the Titan's Tooth so that if we draw both of them, one will discount the other one. Because, like, if, it, if we're getting it played for zero energy, we're going to spend the other three energy on the other cards in our hand, right? We don't need them to be zero cost. Tooth won't discard that. No, if if we reduce the cost of one tooth and we offer the three cost, it would then make the two cost tooth cost zero. And so we could play it with no energy.
don't think it's doing what we want to do. I feel bad. Enemy units ended with two frostbite. I feel good all of a sudden. Now I need his beardy. Um, we need to get like Cuttlefish's beard. Enemy units enter with two spell shield for 150 bucks. No. Maybe. <laughs> it means we can't snipe with um, harvest sucks so much. But our frost is frost, which will auto and because of that one, these ones die automatic. No, they don't. Wait, those ones die automatically. <clears throat> Well, they still get an attack, uh, but Frost isn't spell, Frost is status. set up on the next floor. <clears throat> Which I think is better because it means Tethys can hit this guy. I love the armor they're getting. He hits for six. So her spell strike is almost useless. So I like him there. Since he's going to be up a floor. Dude, that is so good. <laughs> that is ridiculous good. next turn. What's hitting this guy? Look, we don't have any AoE. Yeah, but he's not attacking. Oh, so every time he gets hit, he freezes the whole lane. Ooh, I, yeah, okay, I see what's happening. Yeah. I like it.
<laughs> he just dies. I love this. This is great. Uh... Do you reckon that silences the spell? Does does that that doesn't silence this this the spell shield? Does it? Not that it matters here. sucks a little bit but I've got armor so you can eat it <laughs> wow what do I want to offer if I, if we get a Titan's tooth um, which we don't uh, so we're playing a holdover so it doesn't matter what we offer do it here for the frostbite A <laughs> traitor's quill. Oh man. <laughs> What's up, beef? No, um, it goes on top of your deck at the end of the turn. Hold over. I don't know if it is actually possible to go endless, even if you're playing on low ascension where you've got no blights. Um, just because of the draw, you'd need to... Maybe with some sort of imp sacrifice. But I don't know how you get the card back again. You'd have to... Have, you know what I mean? Which I wonder if there's something they intentionally did. Yeah, Endless goes back on top of your deck when it dies, but then how do you draw it? You know, uh, because I think any spell that you use to draw, you're going to need to hold over, which doesn't go back on top of your deck. Oh, hold over goes in discard pile. So yeah, if you got down to two cards, you could Endless hold over. So if you had a single Molting Imp and a something, the one that deals down, that sacrifices an Imp and draws a card, the question would be, would it draw the Endless Imp or would it draw itself? Two offerings and an incant. Is there an incant that draws card? Because <clears throat> when you play an offering on a second offering, you play this one and you have to discard one. Which is the, you, like this one discards and the one you draw discards. So you, they, you end up with an empty hand.
Are you in the wrong chat, promo? What's this statue business you're talking about? Um, so we... How many hits is hitting? 30? He's only going to get one hit on, right? I don't want to lose a hit point. We pretty much have to offer down here. Try and hit her. The silence removes stealth. No. Oh, and in chat there is a there is one that okay, I got you, sorry. Just to be extra safe, I think I want to make sure I Uh, I got in a second hit, we did take some health damage. Streamer! Why are you so lucky? I don't think um, I don't think you can um, silence the green stats. I'm pretty sure they've set it up like that. 100. percent Guardians amulet's nice when we've got offerings. I can dispel them, they're buffs. Did it dispel the silence just then? I thought it still had it on, on her after I used it. Oh, uh, not her, her stealth. Although we started attacking pretty quickly in that. Wait. Okay, so you need to what what card dispels? Oh, melting's got one, okay. I wonder if I want shield for Shark Boy. Yeah, silence blocks the purple ones, yeah. <clears throat> I guess one of my biggest things with tanks without healing, if we, if we don't, like, how do you keep them alive long enough? Sap is a big one. Sap works well. Shields is the other way, right? But the more spells you get, look at our thick boy deck. We haven't removed any cards. And go for the 40, 40 card achievement. No, probably not. But I do want to get health on stuff. I don't need that, and we don't really need that. I want to get some plus. I haven't been seeing as much plus consume, hey. Double stack of frost or a double stack of sap? Six sap on Seraph is pretty brutal, hey. That certainly lets you wind up. Wow, 
right. Oh, are we purging a Stuart here? Making a Patrick Stuart? I wonder if it's easier to, to remove a use that on a because we've got to actually find room to put him down. I had a I had one with a sap I had one with two sap two sap incant totems. I duped one the other day. It was very powerful. Especially when playing offering um, to play a spell counts. In case we get the plus one consume. <clears throat> oh, another permafrost. Man, if we got hold over on that. Yeah, I really want I really want a permafrost to sap, but I'm, I'm trying to be greedy and, and say let's wait for a holdover, and then we can just sap everything every turn. It feels so greedy. That's because it is greedy. Um, <laughs> like it's there's no no arguing. That's greedy pans. I think not putting 10 on this Titan's Tooth just in case we get a holdover is not greedy. It's just smart play. Like, we've got a lot of other stuff that's costing things. I like being able to play that for three. For free. We purge a Stuart. Let's purge the other Stuart, and then we play the Patrick Stuart in this fight and we'll be out of Stuarts for fight seven all right fell let's do this Is there a world where we play the Titan's Tooth, then drop Tethys, and don't do anything else? <clears throat> it seems like a bad world. Well, everything's dead. The problem is, one of the sharks is already there. That's true, shark- I keep forgetting shark boys getting the revenge. I'm looking at the, like, the two da- the plus two damage, but that doesn't happen till the end of the turn. I think there possibly is a world where that happens, it's not this world. I also keep forgetting uh, that his revenge is, like, for the whole lane. Mainly because I'm used to the spike revenge thing being inflicted on my units. And it's only when you... Like, it only happens to that unit that does it.
I think this is Titan's Tooth um, Fell. And maybe even Crystal Fell as well. Nothing matters. Because nothing matters. I mean, this kind of matters. Not really. What are the offering here? You know, it's uh, offering, um, like, sapping the Ember Drains if we get them means they won't attack, which means they don't get revenge. I don't have Glacial Seal in hand. Do you reckon do the cheeky offering and try to get the glacial seal here? She'll come down on her turn and we'll just go nuts then. Do we want to play Patrick Stewart and get him out of the deck? Or is he going to save us in, uh, in, in the next fight? That's the real question. Twenty-five, twenty-eight is not bad, but a purge is also good. Could be, yeah. We'll hold on to it. Hold on. To it. Is there a? There is a frozen lance there. Okay, let's do this. Extra three frost versus fifteen damage and stuff. down there I wasn't paying attention. I realised at the last minute but I could have got some extra frost on fell. You're gonna get one hit in but I have armor so that's okay. You also will but again okay. Where's my, where's my teeth? 
Yo, T, what's up? Oh, you're dying? Oh, that's not cool. Well, that means you're getting an extra hit in. Oh, actually, no, you're not. I don't care for you. I don't care for you. I mean, we could armor up, but I don't think we need to worry about it. <clears throat> this, because we've got uh, he's dead, he's gonna die. He's gonna do eight damage. We've got nine armor. Putting it down here seems better. Oh, I could also play you. We can get you played. Tee hee. Okay, that's getting close. I like what's happening here. That's an improvement. Very good. She'll have what she's having. <clears throat> Ancient synergies. Um, going a bit nuts there, but no. <clears throat> Double the rage. I think with holdovers and stuff, deep offering seems weird. And frozen cards. Yeah. Are we just going more draw? <clears throat> so if we take a capacity, we can get another totem in. <clears throat> but I think I just want to draw cards more. Just want to draw cards more. More draw cards? Cards draw? Draw more cards. That's a waste. That's good. That's good. Do we want a hell vent? What do we have to remove? Frost lances and fireballs. Ugh. What do we have to dupe though? <clears throat> An extra sentry since we've got a thick deck. We don't have much money for trinkets, so that's probably going to be a waste anyway. Oh, that's gold, not trinkets. <laughs> Souping a titan's offering is not a waste. Damn autocorrect. Uh, the titan's tooth. It's not a bad one. Especially the upgraded one. Spending money on spells and removing is also good though. But I think this will, um, 25 AoE with... Oh, um, we don't need this. It does deal 30 damage though. 
Do I take it as a 30 damage card? It's, it's not spell damage, right? I don't think I need it. Like, we've got so much health. And I don't think we need the 30 damage card. That's an enhance. Oh, it's only for battle. Yeah, that's no. I've gotten that really early in a run, and it's been really good. I don't think it's really good here. The sap also is not bad, but we lose a lot of revenge. And the sap, one of the things is the sap doesn't kill stuff. So they just get to the, the they get to your pyre with all their sap gone and, um, and a lot of health. I think you could also go shark just so you get one straight away. Oh, we've got sweep option. So the question is, do we need sweep with our three titan's teeth? A deck where you stack damage on your pyre and the day's relics let your pyre win. I think you'd take, if you had the relic, yeah, where the amount of gold you had um, is pretty good. Sweep options, sweep options not best for, for straight up Seraph, right? Um... Like the 40 frostbites, like in a one on one fight, the 40 frostbites way stronger. Like ridiculously stronger. <clears throat> but it comes down to whether we need to start doing that sweep damage. Um, especially since our shark is revenge damaging any, well, any little units are coming in with two frost. So it's really only for the turns where we have multiple big enemies. Which we do. It does provide spell weakness, which means then we tooth on them with the big tooth for like 50. And we'll get a bunch of those on, on Seraph anyway, so maybe we can... It's a tough call. I think it's close. I think you could go either way. Legitimately, extra six hit points is possibly the deal breaker. We can take this. Yeah, we, we definitely take this. Does his damage go up whenever he takes frost damage as well? Or is it only when he takes a, a, a spell or physical hit? I don't think it matters, I'm just curious. No sharks. Multing and play Tethys on two. <clears throat> Will we Titan's Tooth to put some frost? Is that is ten frost going to manage? Going to matter? Tethys will have 
um, 11 health total, so we could molting then he dies to the molting, uh, the imp dies to the first one triggering. But then we could Tethist and Horned. Well, Molting dies, so we'd have to Molting first, he dies, Tethys solo, with Horned. But then we can't get a Shark down. We'd have to put the Horned somewhere else. Up top for Collector. That guy gets 20 frost on him then, instead of 10 frost and 25 damage. So he takes like 60 on the way up. We'd have to protect this guy to hit him. And then we have to draw a shark next turn. <clears throat> Otherwise Tethys dies. That's the issue. Otherwise Tethys dies. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like the part where Tethys dies next turn. <laughs> That's <laughs> that feels bad. This is fine. We're doing 40 damage, and he's taking 33 a turn. No, we can't get any more frost. We get sap. Better sap though. <clears throat> yeah, it's a full HP challenge. We've got armor on our thing though, so it's not too bad. Um, and we've got a ton of health. And these guys are now getting more frost generate. Like he's going to have a lot of frost from all these all these revenges. So I don't think he's going to do much. I think this is the one that's potentially hitting the most. But again, he's going to have more frost on him as well. It just comes down to whether I think we need to get her down or if I want to sap this one. I think sapping this one's worth more.
Rage doesn't matter. Rage could kill something though. Maybe. Um, doesn't do enough there. I could just get rid of it. done more than that. Yeah, he was triggering on HP deaths, so he's sending Frost back. But maybe having him so that he didn't actually die would have been better. I mean, this is fine. It's not the greatest. Where's my sap? My sap's in the... So we're at 50. He's getting two hits in. Which hurts a little bit. I don't think I can reduce him down to only getting one hit. I don't think it's worth chasing getting him down to one hit in. That would deal 50. And then we'd push it up to 60, so I'd need to find another 50 damage. Which is close. Uh, one lane for boss will be easy. <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll cake it. it hits a lot, then it's going to get revenged a lot of frost. <clears throat> I don't think I can do anything that lets me get less than two hits. Uh, I can get this down to one hit, but... Yeah, that's why I didn't silence these guys, because I wanted the return damage to revenge on him, but I think he died before he got that. So I can get that one down to... Yeah, we can get that one down low enough where he only takes 
hits us for one, but I don't think it's worth it. I should focus more on that guy. Or pump it into that one because of the respite. That could be... If we draw the sap, I'll feel bad. No, it's frozen. I just play it next turn. do nothing except die. Getting one spell week on that one though could be okay. It comes down to how much revenge I want on this guy. So we can kill off one of these, but I lose three frost on him. No, we're not going to draw draw him again before the boss, right? Getting the sweep was the wrong call, actually. <clears throat> uh, hit him for an extra fifty, <clears throat> or I can sap him. Instead of revenging there, sap there instead. We get frost going on those guys. If we just kill them, get frost going. It's probably better. Yeah, I shouldn't have put sweep on him. It was a bad call.
That would be 50 and... 50 is 100, 100, so that would kill him. Let's do that. What am I missing here? 50 and 30 is 80. Oh, he's getting buff from her. We still got enough? Stop talking. I think we still got enough. I mean, it could just give her armor. I don't want the armor on my dude though. Um, so we got 15 damage. We got 15 damage. No, we don't. Because she dies anyway. Wait, if we can beat if we if we compensate for that, right? was fine. <laughs> Everybody dies. Harness my titan. No. Mm. I saw the art and I thought it was Horfrost straight away. I mean, I clearly read out the words Harness my titan, but... Let me see. How crazy am I going? Yep, it's the dupe art. You had a start every night? That's oh, supposed to be good for your health, right? Drain. I don't know if I want another March of Shields or another Rage Serum. 30 hell, eh, no. I think I'm good. If we could just draw a shark on turn one. Are we upgrading units and duping us something? And removing cards. Or trinkets, getting a little bit of health back, upgrading spells. Both good options. Do we just get another Shark Boy so that we've got one in our deck for when the first one dies?
We'll try to find a holdover spell, which is also not a bad plan. I think that might be a slightly better. Yeah, dupe on saps also, alright. We do miss out on the revenge on Seraph, but that's okay. Yeah, I want the shark boy. I want one on each one on each floor because we've been struggling with units and getting more frost down. I think is good. We get another large stone. If we do that, we can't play anything else on any other floors. <laughs> uh, let's get health on the <laughs> glacial seal. Wait. Wait, let's go look at the other store first. Large stone on Patrick. <laughs> I, we can't play him. I really should have dumped him on the previous fight. Rage does not decay. At the end of the turn, frozen cards cost reduced to zero. <laughs> At the end of the turn, apply for- oh wow. Frozen card at the end of the turn, frozen cards reduced to zero. At the end of a turn, apply frozen to a random card. Grant two stacks of frostbite each time it is applied, and we have a glacial totem. That is the frostiest. Look at that, look, frost, freeze, freeze, frost. I almost want to get another totem now. I mean, it's not the dumbest thing. Yeah, fighting Heaven's Ice with Hell's Ice. Maybe they shouldn't have taught us how to use it. No, I don't want the totem attacking. Do I not want the totem attacking? Is there going to be any spikes? There's probably not going to be any spikes, right? Uh, I don't think there's Ember Drain in this one. So that can be like first and second floor, can be a glacial shield and a, a glacial dude and a shark. <laughs> I like it, look they're just dead. They started with four frost. Just just die, morons. Just die.
And we've got health where tanking some of this is not the worst in the world. That's going to cost zero next turn, by the way. Feels good. Revenge apply five frostbite. Why doesn't Frost decay? Oh, Frost does not decay. She can still halve it though. You don't want to be there. Guess you do. Ah, uh, we need her to die so we can drop Patrick Stewart. Oh, why is there? There is Ember Drano in this fight. The Ember Drano wasn't going to be in this fight. I thought it was with the other Sarah. I guess that goes. There goes that theory. We can sap that floor. But it means we don't get any revenge frost, but I'm kind of okay with that. I'm not fast, it's just the Ember Drain, I just don't want Ember Drain issues. Although we're going to have zero cost cards. Okay, Frozen Zero Cost Torch. Woo! I mean, I could just torch that one. I don't really care about the spell weakness. Do I really even care about the Silophyte? I don't. I just don't want that guy getting through. So if that's the case, I torch that guy? Oh, it doesn't matter. I torch this one. He hits that one. I could drop Imp. But then that doesn't die. I want the Silophyte to die. I put the Imp down here. <clears throat> but then Ember Drain won't kill it. Just put the imp there and put it behind the shark. Yeah, we want the to oh, that's right. I want the totem there. Definitely want the totem there. Let's do that before I forget. That's important. And I'm pretty sure I'm sapping here because I don't want Ember Drain. Do I not want Ember Drain? Yeah, I don't want Ember Drain. Right, so let's do that before I forget. Yeah, plus keeping healthy Shark Boy is good, right? So I still think I should put the, and we're going to put the, this shark here. Right, and then we offering for a titan's tooth up top and get some frost on what's a face. Problem is, I killing off this silo fight, so we can one so we can get Patrick Stewart out of the deck. Losing is, I believe, not losing is an op optimal strategy. Yeah, I think so. Patrick can go on floor two. No, we've got another. Um, I duped the glacial totem, so it's going on floor two. Patrick's two pips.
So I need her to die, but I kind of want to put some frost on. Seraph cleanses frostbite, yeah? yeah? Or half cleanses them. So that's the only thing. Is it worth stacking one of them now? <clears throat> I, I, I want to get Patrick out of the deck. Although that will kill off our Silophyte. Maybe. I think it will. I could deal some damage to our Silophyte. Oh, Patrick gets frozen and then we just don't draw him again. Maybe that's the play. But I don't want to play the Offering. I want to keep my Offering. So I think I answered that. That goes there. Alright, to die. And keep Shark Boy healthy. Um, don't play the torch. I do, I play the torch there. Okay, that's good. You're dead without Ember draining us, which is really nice. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> we can kill you before you kill our dude, which is also nice. We can play Patrick. I think Patrick is the play here. Totem goes there, offer a uh, Titan's Tooth. Patrick. Do we save those for a 30 damage? Yeah, I'm keen for saving one of those for 30 damage since we don't need it here. Will it actually change anything? No, so let's... Yeah, a couple extra stacks of frost maybe, but... This is looking good. Oh, now with Glacial is there, we can cast spells there if we wanted to. Oh, I don't like you like you at all. We go silence on this fella? I think silence is here. That's nice. Um... Yeah, okay, I like, I like this. I missed out on a little bit of frost there, but I think it's worth it to put armor here.
I'll let this guy take it. He might need to tank a hit from one of those things. That's better. Or like take a hit from that guy. Is that going to get frozen? So many titans teeth. I think I need to do this one. Incant's good, yeah? I'm sure they both die as well. <clears throat> Do I want to freeze one of these so I don't draw it again? Maybe? I think so. You're a bad man. Oh, we could sap here as well. Oh, this is a really good sap turn. <laughs> is it what? Okay, he dies. That's fine. They die. That's fine. Will we just go ham on this turn? Can't quite get the kill without him having his turn, so we have to sap. And it's not a bad sap. I don't want to draw those cards again, but my hand's getting full-ish. How many, how many cards are we drawing? We draw seven. So I can't freeze one, otherwise I end up getting it back again. Like I end up like stopping my draw. And there's a chance I don't draw that one. We're in a good. It's a good tr good problem to have. And look at Patrick, the bestest big boy. <laughs> These idiots. <laughs> Imagine if we were able to get consume and remove on those. Our deck would be tiny. Tiny. Thank you. Times three, you say. Let me get back to you on that.
Interesting. And we still don't kill him. He makes it to the next floor. Feels rude, man. Feels rude. How about get wrecked? No? Oh. How about now? Dude, and they still die. You imagine when he's got, got 4,000 health? Although, to be fair, I think at, I think at 4,000 health, we'd probably still win on this floor. Um, also, again, I think getting the sweep strike um, was wrong. Yeah, he did have 341 frost just then. That was fun. Oh, Patrick up top, doing work, yeah? One of the things I noticed about wins versus losses, if you see, if you get all these challenges out, you tend to have a much better chance, right? And... and I don't think it's good for win streaking if you go reckless on the start, but if you're just looking to get wins, I think just taking the first two and seeing how you come out is pretty good. Merchant co goods cost 20% more. They cost a little more than 20% sometimes. Because numbers mean things. Horny warrior, I mean horned warrior. Golden Titan Sentry. I haven't had a good Titan Sentry before. It sucks because it's such an awesome card. And now I do. Unnamed Tomed as well. And one more. What was the one more? Hell yeah. Oh, I beat Jobs. I'm getting there. I've got two cards I haven't seen. I need to get the... Beep, beep, beep. Wait, I've got one card I haven't seen here, but I, I'm only at level 8. There's no reward for level 9. Feels bad, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun.